The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Night games. Or, as I like to think of it, ye old summery games. What more could you want other than the eight medieval combats that are ahead of you? Six against an adversary and two dexterity based archery contests. The object of the game, in its simplest of terms, is to knock lumps out of your opponent before he does likewise to you. Each player starts with 10 shields, and each shield consists of 10 shield roses. A successful hack removes a rose from your adversary's total, and the game will end when either of you run out of shields, or if time runs out. Nicely depicted by wax dripping from a candle. You see, back in medieval times, there was plenty to keep your average armor-clad fellow amused. Dragon bashing, whining, dining, wenching, crusading, and of course, partaking in the odd joust or two. Of nightly sport, there was a plenty bashing your partner with swords, lumps of metal, or bits of wood. And on the more placid side, firing bolts and arrows at moving targets. So what about the events? Remember the classic first meeting between Robin Hood and Little John, when they both tried to cross a log bridge and neither would give way to the other. The result was a quarter-staff fight, in which Robin was toppled off his precarious perch into the water below. This event is very reminiscent of that fight, and is set in a similar environment with you battling another fellow over a perilous log bridge. Eight movements, four attacking and four defensive, are made available as you battle for supremacy. This is the first event to test your aiming skills rather than the strength of your bashing arm. Set in the fields outside the castle, the object is to hit as many moving targets as you can before you run out of either arrows or time. Away in the distance are two trees, and between them trundle a series of wooden horses on wheels. Pulling back on the joystick strings an arrow, and a cursor is brought into view with which you aim. The cursor wobbles alarmingly, and it takes a fair bit of skill to get it into position and press fire before it wobbles off target again. The first sword fight event takes place on the castle battlements, with a splendid English countryside scene in the distance. The players appear on opposite sides of the screen, and then clank their way toward each other so that the fight can commence. Eight fighting movements are made available to each knight, and these are accessed by pushing the joystick in any one of the eight directions. Pushing diagonally gives a defensive movement, and any of the other four points gives an offensive thrust or swipe. The second sword fight event is very similar to the first, although the fight takes place outside the castle, with the battlements poking above the trees. A new set of armour has been given to each knight, but the movements are the same as they are in the previous bout. This event is set post-feast, with glass-strewn tables forming an arena. The knights face one another, a mean axe in one gauntlet and a shield grasped in the other. The standard four attacking and four defensive movements, as per previous events, are available to both knights. The crossbow event will test your hand-to-eye coordination, as it has you shooting three spinning targets. Pulling back on the joystick loads the bolt, and a split second later, an aiming cursor will appear. Guide this wobbling entity over a stationary target and shoot the bolt by pressing the fire button before it spins again, or the cursor moves off the target. Timing is of the essence here, so don't spend too long aiming your bolts. Back to fighting again, and this time, armed with ball and chain, you battle beneath the portcullis. Once again, there are eight separate movements, including some vicious swipes and overhead thumps which are often made to your armor-clad persona. Plenty of variety in movement and plenty of scope for attack. Forget the peasants, let's have a pikestaff fight over the newly ploughed fields. Out in the country trot you and your piking partner. 
four defensive and four attacking movements are made available to each knight once more as you thump, stab and spike each other. This is a fun game, a nice variant on the beat em up theme with six bashing games and two other games thrown in for good measure. Although the events have eight moves as standard, each has its own set of thrusts, parries etc. And once mastered, they all have great potential for a really good fight. The defending and attacking moves all work well, and it's easy to become very involved with the game when you're fighting. Graphically, this is great too, with the sprites being brilliantly animated along with some decent medieval backdrops. Adding to that are the 8 tunes, which are also pretty good, with nice atmospheric sound effects of clanks and clinks as you bash your opponent's armour. I enjoyed playing this, and strongly recommend you have a look at it too, so grab your C64 and get this game loaded up today. Thanks for watching guys, what did you think of night games? Hit the like button and let me know in the comments. It certainly made for a pleasant change from the usual oriental style beat em ups of the time, and David Whittaker's medieval music was nicely received. I love this game, and I'm sure you do too. If you're enjoying the nostalgia, then jump on board and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, you can also join me on the YouTube membership program, or over on Patreon. Your help goes a long way, and is always massively appreciated. There's loads more games up on the channel playlist, and more coming daily, Monday to Friday, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now.